My name is Yasser, I'm a senior lecturer in pharmacy practice and a specialist antimicrobial pharmacist in secondary care. Today I'm going to be going through a video where I speak about five reasons why you should become a pharmacist. I've been practicing as a pharmacist in the United Kingdom for just approximately six years now and that's including my training year. It's a career that I'm really glad to have chosen and I think it's important to go through reasons why I became a pharmacist and reasons why you should become a pharmacist. So if pharmacy is a career that you're considering, here are five reasons why I believe you should become a pharmacist. So my first reason is working directly with patients in a patient facing role. When I was studying for my GCSEs, I knew that I loved science related subjects. I used to perform best in science related subjects and I had many family members that practiced as pharmacists. So it's something that I was very well acquainted with. Every time I want work experience, I'd generally be working in a community pharmacy. So I had a good understanding of what a pharmacist does on a day to day basis. And also I had a good understanding that it's a patient facing role, that you'll be treating and managing patients in this role. And that's something that was really interesting to me. It was interesting to be able to use that love of science in a practical way where you're managing patients' conditions and you can see that direct improvement to a patient. That's one of the main reasons why I chose pharmacy as a profession because I knew it was a practical way for me to use my love of science. The second reason why I believe pharmacy is a great profession is the fact that there's a wide array of different opportunities within the profession. So when I started working, I started working as a community pharmacist and I didn't really know much about hospital pharmacist roles. Since then, I've worked as a pharmacist within oncology, uh, so that's within the cancer speciality. I've worked as a cardiorespiratory pharmacist, so that means within cardiology and respiratory and managing both of those conditions. I've worked as an antimicrobial pharmacist for three years, so I was working with the microbiology consultant, having a good idea of bacteria that's growing, that's causing a particular infection, and which antibiotics would be best to treat this patient with. I've worked in a clinic facing role with a diabetic foot infection patients, and I currently work as a HIV pharmacist. So there's just so much to work with, and it's constantly expanding. There's opportunities in industry, there's primary care, which means that you'd be working within a GP, and that's something that's constantly expanding. The third reason is the fact that you're an extremely important part of the multidisciplinary team, so the MDT. And what that means is when you're working together with other healthcare professionals, like doctors, nurses, physiotherapists, you're a crucial part of that team. And the way you have to think about it is, you are there to be an expert in medicine. Your knowledge of medication should be unmatched. You should be able to provide answers to questions about medications that no one else can. And quite often, doctors will come to you and they'll say, we have a patient, but the kidneys aren't doing so well. What dose of medication shall we give to these particular patients? And you should be there to know which resources that you can look at and you should be able to provide the answer to those questions. The main thing is being able to know which resources that you can access to find your answers and to work within that expertise and provide that expertise to the team. And really that knowledge of medication that you have is often unmatched and it's the reason why people come to you when it comes to a medication problem or when it comes to identifying whether or not the new medication is suitable with all the other medication the patient's already taking. And that value is what sets you apart from other members in the multidisciplinary team. That's the reason why there's an MDT in the first place. You really want to be seeking the expertise of members within that team. The fourth reason to be a pharmacist, particularly if you're going into community pharmacy, is the fact that you are accessible to the public immediately. It takes patients often 20 to 30 seconds from stepping foot into that pharmacy to having a conversation with you about their condition. So that accessibility to the public is really unmatched and that's one of the reasons why pharmacists really were at the forefront during the current pandemic. That accessibility is invaluable to patients and you will be a respected part of the community. And that's something that really resonated with me, particularly during this current pandemic. 
The fifth and final reason is work-life balance. Generally, you can work 37 and a half to 40 hours a week without the need for out of hours requirements. This completely depends on the profession that you go into. Um, I worked as a junior pharmacist in hospital and that required me to do night shifts. I do speak about these in my other videos, so please do check them out. But generally speaking, you have a better work-life balance and there is a lower requirement for on-call responsibilities, particularly if you're working in a hospital. If you're working in community pharmacy, generally you'll be working 37 and a half to 40 hours. You can always work as a locum pharmacist and this is something that I've also touched upon in a previous video where you can really have your complete flexibility with how you want to work, how many days you want to work a month and that's something that you don't get in a lot of professions that are out there. And those are my five reasons of why you should consider pharmacy as a profession. I've got lots of resources in the description box below. Follow me on Instagram if you enjoyed this video. Follow me on TikTok and you can check out my website below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you.